Hello everyone, welcome to Tony Talks. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching me from. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your like. And if you're a new subscriber here, please don't forget to hit the subscriber button so that you don't miss out on our videos. Yes, let's dive in into this. Today's video is going to be ha uh ha. -huh. Let's watch it. Um, remember there was this um case i brought out i didn't bring it out that was trending and uh, you know i asked about the guy try to find out about his welfare and we were told that the guy was locked up by the police because he wrote something about pastor dk ulukoya of mountain of fire ministry and ordinarily the case is supposed to be a civil case where he's supposed to be charged to court for defamation of character and probably they put on me they they find him you know, and if you cannot pay the fine, they throw him in jail. But the guy was locked up. When I spoke to him, he was locked up on March 18, and he was released a few days ago, precisely, I think sometimes last week. And um, according to what I heard, um, the parents are old parents. They said the parents really tried. They live in Akure, or, or is it Akure or Leluj or something? You know, somewhere in Ondo State, and they had to come up all the way from there to beg and all that. Uh, I learned the court, the case is still in court, so we'll be mindful of what we are going to say. They are taking the guy to court next month, um, but the, the guy, let me let me get across to him. Um, he's supposed to join me. No mind them, they, they, they are God, no help con the country. They are God, punish them, they are God, they do. Anyway, let me try and see what's going on. The guy is supposed to come and join me here. Ah, somebody is calling me, oh. Show. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, please. I'll call you back. Ah. Okay, good. He's here. Mo he is here. I'm sorry for that interruption on YouTube. Somebody called the line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Muti had there. Can you join us? I just added you now. Can you join us? I've had it you. The boy is just a 23 year old boy. Adewale. Hello. Oh, okay. okay. Can you move back a little bit from your camera? Oh, okay. Hey, hey, better. Good morning. Good morning, ma. Oh, people on YouTube, you cannot really see him. I apologize for that. I'm using two phones to stream. Um, he has joined us on you on Facebook. The volume is muted. How about uh, okay. now on YouTube? Not you, Adewale. Oh, okay, man. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you clearly, man. How about now? I just did it. There should be sound now. No sound. Oh yes. no. You walk out. You walk out. Oh. Let me increase it, your own volume. Okay. No sound. Oh no. How about now? No sound yet. So good morning, everybody. Um, I have with me on Facebook someone who has joined me on Facebook. Unfortunately, I'm using two phones to stream. I am not using laptop. If I'm using laptop, maybe I will have done. I think I need to do my restream back so that when we have guests, you can see him on YouTube too, and we can stream on that platform. I need to do that. Um, so apologies, but you'll be able to listen to him on YouTube. I have here with me Adewale Ajimi Sogbe. Um, if you remember, Adewale Ajimi Sogbe, I mentioned his name. I did the video about him being locked up. And um, I think uh, Showoretsu created awareness about him too, that he was being locked up. For people who don't know Adewale Adimi Sogbe on Facebook, on YouTube, people on Facebook can see him. This is Adewale Adimi Sogbe. He's a young boy. Um, maybe let him, let me allow him to talk at this stage. Adewale, yeah. good morning. Uh, good morning, mommy. Good morning, Please, we need your voice louder. If you need yes, to scream, morning, lift it up a bit. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Good morning. My, yeah, my name is Adewale Adimi Sogbe. How old are you? I'm 
23 years old. 23 years old. Yes. Uh, uh, sorry, I have to ask, what do you do? Yeah, I'm a, a blogger. I'm a blogger. A blogger. Yeah, that, yeah, that was what I do for a little A while. blogger, like people like us? Uh, I'm a blogger who owns a website. A I do post. Blog um, sports. Yes, yeah, but. You have a blog, a blog spot. What is the yeah. name of your blog spot? Uh, postreporters.com. Can you put, put the link yeah, on the uh, comment uh, section? Uh, post if it is possible, if it's not possible, maybe later after the show, oh, you can okay. put it on the comment section, put it on YouTube section too. Oh, okay. Um, so you are a blog spot. So can yes. you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm 23, as I said earlier. I was born in on those states. In, in on those states, in Oxygen local government. Most of you might know about Oxygopa or on those states. So and, and I was born in a family of four. My mom and my dad. My mom has been sick. She lost her sight for 15 years. Oh. For 15 years now, and my dad is very old. When we were in Chigawa State, because we once lived in Chigawa State. Chigawa right. State, yes, Chigawa State, before we located back here to Ondo State, that was one of the issues that brought a lot of setback into our family. My dad, my mom, they were all doing well. My mom is, was a teacher. My dad also was a teacher. He was teaching in a uh, guest college in Danzomo, Chigawa State. But the issue came up when my mom starts having signs that she can't see well. Okay. Okay. Enough yeah. of that. I don't want to take you through trauma. Yeah. Um, what does your father do? Yeah, my father is currently a farmer. That's what he does for a living now. And my mom. Farming. Can, yeah, farming. Do you have senior brothers and sisters? No, I don't have. I only have a sister. She doesn't live where she wasn't born by my mother, but uh, was before me, ahead of me, my elder sister. Okay. From the first one of my mom. And, oh, you are and the first the child of my mom. Yes. He's on YouTube. Can you hear him? Oh, sure. Sure. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, somebody on Chi Folasha, Fi Chi Fine Babe, definitely trust me for that. Oh, yes, I know what to ask. Um, so we got your story on, uh, I got your story on social media, yes, and sir. I made inquiries about it that you have issues with a general overseer in Nigeria. Yeah. Don't mention the name, I'm the one talking now. Uh, in Nigeria, because you wrote um, something about, about him, and uh, you were arrested for that. Um, we know what the story is, so we don't want to go into what you said in that story, but you were arrested for that. How long did you spend in detention? Yeah, I was in detection in detection from right from when i was in police i was i was arrested in first of march first of march yes that was when i was arrested arrested and i was took from Oxyopa to lagos state you were do you so were what i was took from Oxyopa in Ondo okay. states here to lagos state back to lagos state okay. where the police came from mm -hmm. okay yeah so, and I got my bail out of out of the prison. That was on 14th of this month. You were put in the prison. Yes, I was put in the prison. That was on. And when I, when they arrested me, they took me to the police station, state command in Lagos State, in Ikeja, precisely. So I spent 18 days there. 18 days. Yes, I was unable to reach out to my parents for two and a half weeks. You were. Not yeah, allowed to use your phone. Yes, I was. Not, I was not allowed to use my phone or to call anyone, and no one were, was around when I was arrested as well. Around my apartment, no one to even to reach out to my parents to okay to let them know. Yeah. So as time goes on, maybe before, let's say three days before going to the court, then the policeman said I should 
uh, reached out to my parents to let them know that I'm here already. After two and a half weeks. After two and a half weeks. Okay. Uh, maybe so when you that called was your parents, what did they do? Uh, I called my parents. I said them, "This is what's going on. This is this. This is that." Then uh, my dad and uh, tried to come from Ondo State to Lagos. So he, he spoke with my IPOs and the boss, the boss of the IPO as, as well. Okay. So the my dad tried to at least to ask for my bill out of the police station, but the policeman refused and they say that order from abu from abuja say that they should not release us on bail so, so then on the 18th when we are we are taken to court none of us know that we are we are going to be taken to court as well i How don't many, even when, know when, 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 that was on the 18th when? of march 18th of march 18th of march okay yeah, 18th of march so okay. i don't even have a lawyer even till now was just now gone. I don't have a lawyer as well. Someone oh. that is helping me. Yeah. See now I don't have a lawyer. The person that is helping me is just a friend of mine. His daddy was a lawyer here. So he has someone in Lagos State that at least should be someone that we follow up during the bill. So I, I won't be able uh, that my parents won't just be raising money, borrowing money up and down to do my bill and everything didn't work out. That's one of the reasons. Uh, so uh, so because why did you stay long is it because you couldn't afford the bail condition that made yeah. you stay long in the prison yes it's because uh my parents couldn't afford the bail condition to afford the money to do the bail and to do everything that was what made me stay long and i understand the background that i'm coming from so i don't have to pressurize them much because i know where i'm coming from God. um Somebody is asking me, hold on, please, uh, Madiwale. Somebody is saying I should just give them a brief history of the story. Mm -hmm. um, Adewale Ajimi Sogbe is a young boy that is just starting life and he opened a blog spot like all this legit NG, Linda, and KG and Co., something like that. He opened it on website and he writes stories there. So I think he picked up a story about Pastor Diki Ulukoya. I am the one mentioning his name now. He picked up a story about him on one of the blog spots and reposted and you know he wrote something that he was like a defamation of character so he was arrested for that and logged up so all in all adewale that is the brief something i'm going to talk about i don't want to go much into the story because the case is okay. going to court or is in court already now all in all how many uh, from march april may june that's four months close to four months let's say three months and a half almost four months yes let's say four months according to what you told me you said you are still going back to court right yes next month on the 12th of next month <laughs> how did your mother feel when you came back from i mean while you were away because according to what i heard this you like you told us you've confirmed that uh she's blind yes. and your daddy is just a farmer and you said you are the first child of your mother um who has been taking care of your mom I, I, do you have your siblings at home with her yeah my, my siblings are still very young i only have siblings they are young and the only person behind me who was supposed to take care of her like who has been taking care of my um, grandma for a while she became sick she has a um, typhoid and the typhoid got to her very much that she even lost her mind like she even lost her mind she couldn't like anything we talked to her i mean that instead um, grandma. no i mean my junior sister oh, someone that can even junior sister is no, she's not feeling okay too i swear she should uh -huh. have been the one to take care of my mom at least when i'm away i know she doesn't have anything or at least because i'm the one providing for both my dad and mom as well so but, do you have any other job apart from that blog spot you are doing uh, i don't normally i don't have any other job the job i did before starting it my to be sincere i don't know if i can talk about it the job Why? was that i uh, i was working with a man the man is wearing pig pigry he has a pigry farm that was okay. when I, yeah that was when i went out of my secondary like school so after that, 
Yeah. After two months. Yes, yes, yes. So oh. I work for, you know, for four years. Are yeah. you a graduate? No, I'm not a graduate. I'm just a whole level student. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So. But you can write yeah, very, very well because I saw your blog spots. Yeah, sure, sure. I worked with demand for four years. So before leaving, before I, under four years, I was earning 10,000 euro. It's just that the man was the one feeding me at least. And I'm trying to save up money. And I've already have it in mind that I wanted to become a blogger, a professional blogger. I have it in mind all my life. So then I, I started making research online, how to create a website, how to do this. So I got, I meet guys on who say that they can design websites so i i just make up my, my mind that 50 50 is that i lose the money that i'm paying to them because we didn't see in person you guys that helped me to create the websites we didn't see in person well, what, what can i ask you a question why was your yeah. case that complicated uh um, if it's because you wrote something why was it that complicated that you have to spend so long in jail was it because no, yeah. Because of who was involved, or because uh, apart and from, one, did you try to make a plea? Did your parents try to make a plea? At least parents, go and beg the person. Yes, my the general my parents made, yeah. yeah, my parents make a move to at least to beg the general of Asia, but all their moves were all about it because they couldn't see him in person. And my dad went to the lawyer's place, his chambers. At least my dad prostrated in front of him, beg him, hold his leg, do a sort of thing just for him. My mom called him every day when I was away. My mom called uh, the lawyer. I don't want to mention at least the lawyer. Yeah, every time. yeah, yeah, to plead with the lawyer for the lawyer to at least to forgive me, to release the only son that she has, that she's a blind woman, that all sort of things that I'm the only one taking care of her. And my dad even went to an extent length that meeting some of the pastor's friends in Lagos, because my dad was told that the pastors have some close friends who are also man of God, who that are, can, can be the person to speak with the man of God to at least to withdraw the case from court or to at least to have my freedom after months in the custody. But first they went to one church in, uh, one CAC church in Lagos Street, a that is Lagos, Lagos State, C1 CAC Church. They met a man there. They said the man was the person closest to the uh, GO, that he's going to be the one to speak with the GO. But when the man at least had about the case, after he hearing about the case, you are the fade, man, your voice is fading away. Okay, okay. I'm really sorry. It seems a call on Facebook came in. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So, so then when the man heard about my case, the man said that he has seen all the whole cases online. The case have been online that he can't say anything, he can't help my dad, that my dad should go and write an apology letter to the man of God. I don't want to hear anything about my case. He don't want to see anything to do about it with my Who family. Who was saying that the lawyer? It's not the lawyer, it's the pastor. A, maybe oh, a close friend. A close yes, friend. A close friend to the pastor that yes. you went to bed. Yes, yes. A close friend to him. So he said, I don't want to see my dad, this and that. So then my dad went to another church again. Another, and um, um, the pastor name is Anujo. Uh, don't mention name. Yeah, yeah. And the pastor, he went to the pastor then. He met the uh, assistant pastor. He didn't get to see the uh, the pastor in charge. Then he narrated all the whole story to the pastor. Then he collected the pastor's numbers and keep calling the pastor. The pastor didn't pick call anymore. After collecting the pastor's number, narrating all the whole stories to the pastor, the pastor said that he's going to help. He's going to do everything that in his power to help my dad out. But when my dad gets home, he tried to reach out to the pastor with the number he gave to the, the the pastor gave to my dad i i think the number wasn't maybe it's not going but there was no connection anymore after getting the number they were not able to speak with the pastor anymore yeah so apparently your parents made some effort to apologize and so, beg on your behalf yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. It was all abortive. They they even did uh, there was one uh, one of those university guys who are in Oxupa here because we have one university here in Oxupa. So some of those guys that are, at least were in line with the blogging work came to my dad that, that they should at least do a video online to make an awareness to at least apologize. apologize. My parents yeah yeah they did the video but it's just that I was trying to connect with the guy for since I got back to well, Akudrums. At least I didn't know much about since because where I was kept. I didn't know much about the this thing. And I haven't seen the video, but the video are all online. Oh your, they are online. Your parents actually did a video. Yeah, they did video. Uh, and I didn't, at least I can I didn't yeah, see. But, so if yeah, you see it, it, send it to me. Okay. I will okay. repost it. Okay. Now my okay. question to you now. Uh as things are now, are you? When are okay. you going back to court? I'm going back to court on 12th of July. What is the allegation against you now? Is it what is it? Yeah. What the, is on your? Ma, you mean the offense, ma? Yes. Yeah, it's uh, cyber bullying. Cyber bullying. Yeah, cyber that is what it. Yeah. That is the only crime against you yeah, now. Cyber yes. bullying. So apparently, it's, it means automatically that you were locked up for almost four months for cyber bullying, cyber bullying without yes. taking you to court. Yeah. Uh, can I ask which of the prison were you locked up in? Uh, Ikoyi prison. Ikoyi prison. Ikoyi prison. Yeah. So, so when after your parents get to know, how often did they come to see you? Were they allowed to um, come and see you? Uh, my parents can't, they didn't, uh, you know, because of the uh, transports and oh, okay. they don't have enough money to even come to meet to me. To come there. and be checking up yeah. on you. So was That's there anybody checking up on you during that time? No, nobody, nobody, nobody at all. Wow, that's traumatic. No, that's traumatic. Nobody was checking up on you as at that time. Mm. Uh, uh, your blog spots have you started earning anything from it uh, it's, yeah because i know sometimes blog because... spot is not like it's not like facebook something yeah and, and it takes time when did you start it yeah i i started uh, last year La oh, oh last last year when yeah last year last around, year around sec september oh just less than and how many months? September, October, November, December, January, February. Less yeah. than six months. Six months, oh. yeah. So you just started not long, the issue came up. Yes. How is your mother doing now? Uh, uh, my mother my mother is very lean and they say she hasn't been eating since I was out. That no, she refused to eat. The mother, she will not eat. She cannot she be open until you are back. Considering you are, the, you are the first child and you are the one taking care of her. Yeah. She refused to eat. She said that I want anything in her hand, that she wish she can do anything at least to get me out of there. Okay. She always, yeah. always cry. Bele. 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 Yes. Um, do you have anybody representing you now, Nikos Tefelo? Currently, no one representing me. I won't because okay. so, yeah. somebody gave me the number. You can go and see Falano or somebody mentioned another um lawyer, woman rights lawyer. Ma, somebody they sent me the, all the numbers, sha. Uh, uh, I, I, at this stage, where the case is, there is little we can do. He's in the court already, and they have released you, hopefully. Yes. And I'm very sure they might they won't lock you up. I want to believe they will not lock you up again. Yes, <laughs> there, <coughs> there is Sorry. something that they said they link you up with one of their uh, member. I don't want to mention him as it is. Maybe you men in Yeri, but is at, do you really know the guy for real? No. I mentioned the name Richard. Do you know Richard? 
No, have you I, met Richard no, before the incident? No, I only, I only see him online. I only see his videos online and when the you things were he posted movie, online. But I haven't seen him person before. You've never ever seen, seen him for him one on one before the incident? Yes, no, no. I only see him. Uh, well, my, my worry, I, we are, I have parents on this page who assist you in our own little way, which is at mm -hmm. least for you to be commuting wherever you need to go, you need help, definitely. You need help, okay. definitely. You know, fortunately me, I didn't even discuss with you to know the depth of this thing. I just was like, ah, shit. Ah, Kabisi. You've spent four months already, cyberbullying. Yes. What do they want from you again? <laughs> what do they want from you again? <laughs> they say that the they, they won't say anything possible. It's much here too. They take you to court. They tell you to pull down their post, and that is it. They should never write about the person again. You should never go near the person. No one even sent me a message. They just come and picked me up. They just no one sent me a message. To pick you up. Yes, you were not I was just right trapped. There. No one sent me a message. No one give me an awareness to bring out the John, post Can you just briefly narrate your experience while in prison to us? Ah, uh, the experience was very tough, mommy. The prison, a lot of people in the prison are suffering. A lot, a lot of souls, a lot of talent are in the prison. A lot of talents. Like, mommy, I mean a lot of talents. People, guys who are talents, a lot are in the prison. And you, you talk of your home. My Were you maltreated? Own. I hope you are not maltreated. In, in the prison, thanks to uh, I don't know. I I just I don't want to mention okay. him at least, but okay, I, okay, maybe yeah, we leave it at that because yeah. of the sensitivity of the issue. Maybe we leave it yeah. at that because I I'm not I don't want to put you into trouble. Yeah. I don't want to put you into trouble. I don't want more to be added to what your issue <coughs> coupled with the fact yeah. that you are in nigeria and you know obviously uh somebody okay let us have his account number okay uh, uh your mother i'm more concerned about her too i'm concerned about you i'm concerned about your mom your dad is okay. He goes to farm to fend for the family yes. in his own little way, right? Yes. So you are supposed to be the one taking care of mommy before you saw this problem. And uh, honestly, at this point, there are some things that really break me. Please don't be annoyed, do people? You know I do. I'm very emotional. This is who I am. This is just me, you know. I don't like to see people in pains. I don't like to see people in trouble. Uh, probably because I've worked the work of pain. So when I see people, it touches my bone. I'm going to support him too. Um, can you put your account number down for us? Pin it. And the anti to too. Okay. Can you pin? Oh yeah. Okay. Send your account number to my other phone so I can okay. put it on on YouTube. Okay. Okay, man. Yeah. Okay. No, don't let's go. Um, somebody is asking what is his experience. He can't talk of that now, please. The issue, this case, this case is very sensitive. The case is still ongoing. Please, don't let us put the young. It's just, it's, a, it's too young to go through what he has gone through. Let's consider, God forbid, any of our children trying to fend for one mistake, fall into this kind of a thing. No, and every one of us know that uh, to go to to go into jail in Nigeria is not a even if you are spending one or two days, you cannot come back the same. So I don't want us to go too deep. Um, asking too sensitive a case. Maybe when he is free, because when it, once a case is still in court, there is little you have to talk about it. You can't even mention details. That is how it works, please. That I've, been, I've, had, I've, I've had a, a case here, and I know how it goes. You don't mention, you don't really talk. If you have to talk, you have to code. So please don't ask him to put out what he's not supposed to put out, please. He has been strong enough to come out and, and you know, he spoke to me and, and I'm like, you have to come out and talk, but be very careful 
of details you are going to put out there and i want to stand by that i am not using him to create content and if i let him let out some things of course it's going to be a content and everybody will carry it and it will go viral but trust me it will be in greater problem please let's be sensitive and let's be empathetic now yes uh i learned showora is involved in this case is he involved fully mm -hmm. or just partially no he's not involved he's because not, uh, not involved. i'm uh, yeah, because some of my guys tried that. They wanted to at least reach him out on the case. Some even text him and send him voice notes. But I believe he's trying to draw himself a little bit backward. On because the case. they will not have any problem for Lumori. And he just went back to his family. So I yes, wouldn't blame I him. Sure, Nigeria sure. problem. I don't blame the guy. He don't see Prishege problems before he went back. So... Uh, uh, now okay give us your send your account number to this my other phone okay you can no. put it yourself as a comment let me pin it and uh, i'm very sure people will help you and i'll give you the number of the sign they gave me somebody okay. gave me the number because i discussed it with somebody and that person sent the number of his son to me oh. no i didn't even discuss the person saw the show where i mentioned okay. the case of uh who could it be yours yeah, i think it was you Okay. Somebody saw the video and the person reached out to me and gave me the number of two sons that okay. they are into this kind of a thing, human rights, that you can go to them. So from the money people will be giving you, definitely you need to commute back and forth. Sure. Probably you call them on phone and talk to them. Okay. Whatever they say, get back to me. Okay, okay ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Get back yes, to me. And hopefully they are able to help. If they are not going to help or they are reluctant, maybe we will see how we can get you a lawyer to help okay, you ma to I represent you. Me. Because obviously, from the ones we have had, from the story of Femi, um, Caleb, and uh, Henry, we have seen that, that uh, when they are ready to deal with somebody, yes, when three years old when they are ready to deal with somebody and they can finish the person before anybody knows yes. so if it is possible i'm very sure we have parents here i have mothers and fathers here who are ready to who will be ready to help okay. and if we if need be probably we might need to get you a lawyer okay. but call those okay. people first the okay. number i'm going to give you okay. give me a feedback when is your next court date uh, on the 12th of july oh. next month okay. Okay, we yeah. have time. So okay. get make sure you give me feedback. Oh, if you don't give okay, me feedback, yes. be on my neck. Okay, okay. Be on my okay, neck. If you are not okay. on my neck, okay. I may not. I'm busy too. I will have to work to fend for my children. Yes. So be on my neck. Okay. If you call me and I've not done anything, say, "Mommy, share back, baby." Okay. So that okay, uh, if I need to come out, I can come out. Somebody said he also needs to go back to school. Do you want to go back to school? Like mommy, that's my dream, man. That's all I want. Walo, walo, school kolo mwe kolo. I would like to. Share results, eh? Okay. Yes, yes, my results is okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Show the routine jam, she. Yes, yes. Okay, I will sponsor the jam. I will take that up. Thank you, mommy. I will take that up personally on my own. The jam. Then tomorrow, school, school kolo mwe kolo. I I don't know yet, but I'll make research one. When is jam? I I think they have done one already. I think they have done one already. So the ne next one is coming up. You don't know. Yes. Make the next one will be next query. year. I will take up the jam single Thank you, ma'am. Thank, yeah. ma Thank you, ma'am. So, Bawa fee account number, Sile. Okay, ma'am. Should. No, 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 <clears throat> no. He's okay. not talking about them anymore. If they won't hunt him, they, he's not part of their church. For those who are not getting the story, the people they have pro problem with are the people going to their churches. He is just an innocent boy who was doing blogging, and he carried story. He write them. He no understand what in blogging me. That was where he got his own problem from, and they thought. 
the blogging, they link up the blogging with one of the people they are having problem with. They say whether and that one send a message to be writing it on social media. That is the problem where he got his own problem from. I hope you understand now. He has nothing to do with them. He doesn't know them. He's not part of them. And all eyes on them now. Osikuro, Adewale, Osi, she mistake, oh.